right, so this week is still Garrick week, and little Garrick's been such a big help. It's been a lot of fun to eat cookies and eat more cookies and get sick of eating all the cookie dough I did this week, but it was worth it. Let me tell you, so worth it. Such good cookies. So, we've got an awesome deck tech planned. I really like it. I really like drawing cards, and I really like not having to play blue to do that. And this deck, it's that's what it does, is you draw cards, and you play big creatures, and you draw more cards. It's awesome. I love it. Ah, it is, it's so much fun to play. So, for our mana base, we have 14 forests, because there's a lot of green cards in here, because that's where all the ramp stuff is in order to draw more cards. That's basically the green side of all of this. So we need a lot of green mana, because we've got some double green things we have to cast. So, 14 forests. Um, we do have some black cards, um, so we have 10 swamps. Uh, like I said, not as many swamps as forests, because we need, we need more forests to cast more stuff. There's more green cards, and the double swamp cost that we don't have any in our deck, so we, don't, we only have to have at least one swamp out in the field, so we're good. Trust me, it'll work. It'll be just fine. You shouldn't have a problem with mana. Shouldn't. So, um, our creature base, we start off with four copies of Elvish Mystic. I love this card. It's a 1-1, one, one, one mana, 1-1, one, one, tap to add green, because that's awesome. It helps so much with getting stuff out early. It's fantastic. I love him so much. I also include um, four copies of Typhoid Rats. We all know how I feel about Typhoid Rats. One mana for a 1-1 one, one with Death Touch. Yes. I love it so much. It's so good. So four whole copies of that because rats. Rats everywhere. I also include four copies of Wall of Mulch. I had this in the Nissa deck. Um, it's two green or two mana, one colorless and a green for an 0-4 defending wall. And again, the reason why I really have this in the deck, um, although it will, you know, stop your opponent's early stuff in the beginning. Um, it also has the awesome ability where you can pay a green mana, um, sacrifice it, and draw a card. Which, drawing cards in this deck is awesome because you're either going to be drawing into more land that you need or you're going to be drawing into more ammunition. Which, actually, once you can get it out, will let you draw more cards. Yeah, it's so exciting. I also include four copies of Invasive Species. Yeah, I know. It, it seems like it's a weird card to have in here, but just wait, and I will share some of the beautiful combinations this card can do. It's three mana, two colorless and a green for a 3-3 three, three creature. And when it enters the battlefield, you have to return a permanent you control into your hand, which can be really, really good from the other cards I have. So. Let's check out some of the other creatures because you'll see how this all ties together once you know what all the creatures are. Yes. I also have four copies of a Cursed Spirit, uh, four mana, three colorless, and a black uh, for a 3 2 creature with Intimidate. I like Intimidate, and that three power is pretty important in this deck. If you can't guess, you should go watch my card of the week video for this week, or just wait a little while longer. I also have three copies of Charging Rhino. Five mana, three colorless, two green. See, there's our double green mana cross. He's the only one, but he's pretty important. Um, he's a 4-4 four, four giant rhinoceros that's going to terrorize the town. Um, and it can't be blocked except by one creature. Yay! So that's good. So your opponent can't really double block him at all because you can't do that. And he's a four power creature, so he's awesome. And our final creature is a playset. So four copies of Garrick's Pack Leader. Yes, card drawing engine this guy is. If you can get up to five mana, get him on here. It's amazing. Five mana, yeah, four colorless and a green. He's a four, four, and, and. Whenever a creature you, um, comes into the battlefield with power 3 or greater that you control, you get to draw a card. Which, 
Let's see, the Charging Rhino was power three or greater, the Cursed Spear was power three or greater, the Invasive Species was power three or greater. All those are gonna draw you cards. So, this awesome combination I was talking about, okay, so you have your army of Garrick with like at least one Garrick's pack leader and hopefully like a Charging Rhino and a buttload of mana because this does, it is, it is very mana consuming, but if you can get it, it works. So, you swing with everything, that does all their damage, yeah, yeah, whatever, you know, all your creatures are tapped, or the creatures you attacked with are tapped. You play down an invasive species, return one of those, oh, big fatty attackers you had back to your hand, draw a card off of Garrick's pack leader from the invasive species, uh, tap your mana, play out your giant big creature who is now untapped and is going to draw you another card. <laughs> oh! It's so good! So much card drawing can happen if you can get to a lot of mana. It's so beautiful. Oh, I, like, if you can't tell, I'm really excited and I can't stop moving my hands because it's so exciting. So exciting. Alright, so that's all the creatures. There's 27 of them and that's probably a good amount. I could deal with a few more, but I felt like I needed some lower costing creature removal type thingies. So I've got some of those in there too. I have three copies of Crippling Blight, one mana for a creature enchantment. You get to uh, give that creature minus one, minus one, and they can't block, which is really awesome. So you can get rid of all those big guys that um, you can't, they, they, then you can attack through them because now they can't block, or you can kill off all the puny stuff because they get minus one, minus one, and they're dead. Yay! So three copies of that. I also include three copies of Stab Wound because Stab Wound is awesome. Two mana. One black uh, enchantment creature gets minus two, minus two, and your opponent has to pay two life every upkeep. Or, yeah, that's beautiful. It's awesome. You're draining your opponent life. You're hurting their creature. It's not as big anymore. It's bleeding profusely all over the battlefield, and they, they just can't keep up because they're losing two life every turn. It's awesome. That basically nullifies Nyx Fleece Ram. Like... That your opponent would still be losing one life, even though they were gaining one life. It's pretty awesome. Alright, and our final three cards in the deck are, of course, our Garrick Apex Leader and his adorable scruffiness. Because he's so cute. Well, you're cute, little Garrick, not, not big Garrick. He's not as cute. But seven mana, five colorless, a green and a black for a five loyalty starting planeswalker. Uh, first plus one ability, you get to destroy a target planeswalker. Yay! That's awesome. Awesome. Because uh, what's better than killing things off your opponent's board than just destroying planeswalkers off your opponent's board? Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Um, is that the plus one ability? You get about three, three. Oh, what is that? Power three or greater? Yeah, a three, three beast creature with that touch onto the battlefield. And if you have a barracks pack leader out, guess what? You get to draw a card on top of that. Woo hoo! That's at least one card draw a turn if you can get this going. Plus, whatever creatures you have in your hand to play out, yeah, you're gonna be drawing a ton of cards. You're never, your hand's not gonna be empty. You're gonna still have threats to play out. It's so awesome. It's an awesome feeling to have things to play. Yeah. Okay, minus three ability, you get to destroy target creature and gain life equals to its toughness. So those big things you actually, you know, your creatures can't really actually handle, just kill it with Garrick. It'll be good. It'll be fine. And you get life too, which is awesome. All right, his final ultimate ability is amazing. It makes even my typhoid rats in this deck so wonderful. So wonderful. Um, your opponent gets an emblem that says any creature that attacks this player gets, oh, plus five, plus five, and gains trample until the end of turn. Which means, in combination with death touch, like the wolves that this guy produces, or those typhoid rats, yeah, you only have to do one damage to kill whatever it is, and then you trample over with everything else. So for your, those beast creatures, that's, oh, what, seven damage? And uh, for the typhoid rats, that's the full five? <laughs> yeah. <sighs> yeah, drawing cards and killing things with death touch, I, I like this deck a lot. Seriously. Oh, uh, it, if you can get it, if you can get this going, it is so, so fun to play because you just, 
you you just have stuff to play all the time. You like never run out of cards. It feels like you just keep drawing stuff and keep playing big creatures and oh, it's so awesome. I I really like this deck. But I also want to know what your opinion is. What cards would you change? What cards would you put in? Um, I know I only included M15 cards, and I'm sure there's plenty of other ones that would be really good in this deck from the other sets. So let me know because I like seeing what y'all come up with and I like playing all sorts of different decks except for especially like usually your suggestions are really good I really appreciate them so yes leave a comment below like this video and subscribe for more